to your Schwann unboxes the, or A, a Fisher Space Pen with basically the space shuttle on it. For, and it's a $10 uh, Fisher Space Pen. Fisher Space Pens date from, date from the 1960s where they were, where they were developed by an individual to be sold to NASA and the Soviets and anyone else who wants a extremely nice pen. So we'll see how good they, how good they are. Today I'll be unboxing uh, their spatial version, their $10 spatial pin, and also I will have to cut recording, wait a couple of days, get the other one, get the 50th anniversary Fisher Space Pen, which is their more medium priced one, um, and, um, and unbox that as in the same video. But anyway, so yeah, I, I got this pen because I write at an unusual angle. I hold my hand like that. So Fisher Space Pens are meant to be used while in space and well, upside down or any configuration that you want. They're basically extremely high quality pens because of their mechanism as you can see here. And yeah, now let's try not to, you know, wreck the packaging. Most Fisher Space Pens come in nice packaging. This one does not because it's only $10. Still want it connected. And here we go. Oh, man, that feels weighty for a $10 pen. And as you can see, it's $10 for just one pen. Even though this is made out of plastic, most of the Fisher Space Pens are made out of steel. Uh, it feels really, really nice. It's a really nice plastic. Here is the spatial insignia. Space pen right there. To open the pen, you twist. Oh, well, wrong way. Oh, no, you push. Oh, that's cool. It uses the entire mechanism. That feels really nice. Now, that's right. As you can see, this, this is how I actually write with, with pens. Oh, that writes really nice for the circumstances that it's in. And now again, more loose, more loose of paper in my hand. Oh yeah, and it writes perfectly fine. Much better than the pens I already have, which I do have an inkjet pen. Uh, which I do have an inkjet pen, and it it's very finicky. It's one of those inkjet pens that have uh, red, that have red, uh, blue, and black. And it's very, very finicky in how it writes. You have to add a bit, a bit of pressure, because you are pushing the the ball into the into the well. Oh, it feels so nice. It doesn't feel like it would break. I mean, like how many actual, how many, how many ten dollar pens have you ever seen break anyway? This is made out of nice metal always fear of it coming off though and you hit it with some force there we go well, overall just a really nice pin so on to the next one all right so now let's unbox the 50th anniversary Fisher, Fisher space the 50th 50th anniversary of going to the moon fifth uh, Fisher Space Pen. Really nice box. Yeah, it's a navigation code for Amazon. Smells very sweet, actually. American technology. These are made in the United States, if they're all. A box within a box, and a little instruction manual. That's the original. That's the original inventor. 
man who put one million, uh, one million, ninety sixty dollars into developing this thing. So that has to use proprietary ink, unfortunately, but that's fine. All right. American technology, and then another box. Really nice rubberized coating. Oh, nope, it's this. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's very matte than what I was actually expecting. So this is, I, well, if you pre-order this pen, obviously you can't pre-order anymore. It is, um, oh, it's waiting. If you had pre-ordered this pen, it would be, it would cost you around $38 or around $40 more, more like. Um, however, if you're buying it, However, buying it after pre-order uh, period ended, then it's going to be uh, then it's going to be more on fifty. So this is their mid-range pen. Their uh, their the original pen you can the original space pen you can get. Um, this is one of the bullet styles that's special for the fiftieth anniversary of the moon landing, as you can see the, moon, the lunar phases. But um, basically, uh, there's a basically the Fisher Space Pens go from around seven dollars, around seven to ten dollars at the low end, which is still insanely, you know, which is still insanely well well crafted, despite being made out of plastic and a cheaper and a cheaper metal. If this is even metal, I think it is. To this thing where it's extremely, it's it's nice steel. It's nice gold plated it's tiny I didn't realize it was going to be tinier than that I thought it was going to be huge but overall just really really nice I st I'm still probably going to carry this with me because it well I don't have to worry about the cap losing the cap ever and this is just that which is extremely satisfying But this is really nice. I, I definitely want to use this at my, well, it's a bit messy, so at, I'm, I'm just going to show you anyway, why not? I'm not, I'm not YouTube that cares about it being perfect. My work area. I want my work area, as you can see. Very messy because, you know, sick. With ear nonsense. Ear nonsense. Your nonsense and those nonsense creates a lot of uh, nonsense on the ground. That's nonsense. Um, but anyway, that's where I record all my normal gameplay. Try to keep it as tidy as I can, but it's just hard for me. But anyway, so this is really, really nice. Really extremely solid feeling. Really nice coating as well. And you can put it around the other way. As you can see. So it's unlikely you can lose the cap, but still, uh, there, there are reports of this being lost. So now let's try it on a solid surface. Flip it around. Let's see if it's any better than the $10 version, which I would, I would hope so because of its, I mean, I would think so because of its higher quality materials. Oh yeah, it's better. Different though, yeah. Writing with a Fisher Space Pen as opposed to a normal, uh, as opposed to a normal, as opposed to a normal, extremely different, difficult conditions. Oh, you can't write, you can't write, yeah, you can't write something that the ball's not hitting. There we go. Oh yeah, it writes much better in more adverse circumstances. So it is basically the higher quality your Fisher Space Pen, the easier it is to write in nonsense circumstances. But the Fisher Space Pen does have a slight learning curve to it. It is, they, they are slightly different than normal pens. 
on how they write because you're really on that ballpoint. Because you gotta press it down and you gotta really maneuver it like this on that point. There we go, sorry for the camera bumps. It writes amazingly in adverse circumstances. That feels really nice, feels really secure. Overall, really, really, really nice pens. Um, if you just want the writing technology, if you just want the technology and just a really, 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 really nice pen, you can just get the around ten dollar. You can get the around the the low end ones. The low end ones are really, really nice. Now this is more limited edition one, which is why you got it. Um, but there are there's also a colossal one where you pull out the stack, and then that basically it, it's colossal like this, and then you pull out the stack, and then the uh, tip comes out which is really interesting. I thought I was actually gonna need that, but this is actually smaller than that, so, yeah, and this fits perfectly, in, and this and this pen fits perfectly in my, um, in my wallet, yes. Yes, I do have a gigantic wallet. Manly man wallet, that's humongous. Uh, but anyway, like I'm talking like, a, like that, and that, and that, with two compartments, one for cards and money is another one for all the good other stuffs with a zipper and everything that's where I keep the uh, pin but yeah I mean actually I'll be more confident keeping this in the pocket because a it's smaller and b it's more beefy uh, b it's stronger than keeping this in the in the wallet but anyway Alright, so that'd be it for this video. Are they worth it? Yes, 100% yes. They are insanely good pins. Of course, you can always get a pack of, uh, of course, you can always get a pack of 10, you can always get a $10 pin pack, but they don't write nearly as good as this. You can refill this. You can refill normal pins or normal disposable pins as well, but why? They're so cheap. Whereas this is something you want to actually use, and if you're getting it for a younger individual or some, uh, or just for yourself as your as your first or your primary implement forever, the only issues with Fisher Space Fins is they're small objects, so they get lost. <laughs> um, so think about that. Which, by the way, on the high end, there's only one pen that's actually on the high end, or two pens, I should say. One is a titanium ultra thing, which I do want because it's titanium. Where it's similar to the bullet, but it's made out of titanium instead. Um, so it's, you know, uber durable and light, which will be interesting. Which, yeah, it's probably like the ultimate pin to last you for all eternity and whatnot. But anyway. Oh, actually, let's put these together too. Oh, all right, that'd be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate you watching on this video. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to me if you were to. Also, means a lot to me if you were to check out. Also, means a lot. Sorry for the blurry camera lens. Does that help? Is that helping? Some, somewhat. All right, that'd be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Do appreciate you watching on this video. It means a lot to me. Also, means a lot to me if you. Also, means a lot to me if you were to. Check out the stuff in the description below. And at, the end of the and at the end of this video, such as my first book, Dear Story Life in War 2040s, where you follow through Schwanz and Friends as well missions that maintain perfect world that they have built last 15 years. Uh, it is a near future, sci uh, near future science fiction and action mission war novel. Where All right, so that. Also, if you want to see arts, uh, also you can support me by purchasing that book or by purchasing uh, prints of arts on DeviantArt. Uh, the only ones that I have for purchase right now are two schematics, one of the rod rifle, per, uh, the first uh, man portable, the first personal railgun, and the sperm oil heavy tank is the other one. Also, there is a oh, sperm oil heavy tank main, main battle tank, and the other two are two their story minisodes uh, featuring events in and around the, the, my first novel. Uh, I also do pixel arts of Pokemon and Ruby, including a fan, including a Ruby fan fiction, which I'm working on, which I will probably never monetize, 
never is a long time, so I won't say exactly say that, but I, I feel weird about monetizing it. Um, having my own company after all this, but anyway. All right, so that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I guess, see you in a scan.